What's up guys, Miss Exact here. Welcome back to the fight, guys. I'm Adrian, my co-host, former UFC champion, Kurt, UFC Hall of Famer, Sugar Rashad Evans. How are you, man? I'm good, man. Real good. Um, thank you for the, the very nice Instagram post. I appreciated it. Hey, I had to give you some props, man. I knew you since you was knee high, so I had yeah. to give thank you some Yeah, thank you, love, thank man. you. I think, you know, the Duplicis pick was really good, and then you were like, damn, I got to post about this guy. <laughs> um, but you, you got to bring me the, 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 the mushrooms. Umbo? Is umbo, that what we're umbo, 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 All right. Umbo, yep. My family's eyeing to try it. I got, I got you. I got All right. you. All right. We, we got to, you know. I got you, bud. I got you. Floyd Mayweather, another exhibition. I I, I got shammed. I, I paid for it. Did you pay uh, for I, it? No, I, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for it. I think my mom paid for it. I think my dad paid for it. So the, the Hirsch family, uh, they got got, they okay? Got <laughs> We're probably the only family that bought it three times. My mother bought it, oh, all right? Wow. She was expecting a real Floyd Mayweather fight. I don't know. She also said she saw me in the crowd. I wasn't even in Mexico. But yeah. here, that's neither here nor there. Um, this fight goes on. First time I've ever seen a referee get fired mid-fight. Very strange. Very strange. I think this could have been so much better if John Gotti would have let his hands go. Yeah, but I knew I knew he wasn't gonna let his hand go because I seen the first fight. Yeah, I seen what happened in the first fight when there was a big melee broke out, and yeah. uh, oh, you yeah, were there. I was you there. Were there. We, were there, there. Yeah, yeah, we were there together. Yeah, yeah, we were there. there. You were there. We were there. Um, he's got more smoke, like like not in the actual fight, but like out of the fight. Out of the fight, he's a gamer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I just if if I like I'm being if I was in the exhibition with Floyd, I, what's the worst thing that happens? You get knocked out, but at least you make a good showing for yourself, right? And and that's the thing about it. Like you have an exhibition to go out there and put on a show, right? Yeah. And um, I just I just didn't see it. I just no. didn't see it. Because because here's the thing: if I'm gonna get an exp exhibition and I'm gonna go against somebody like Floyd. What I want to do is, if I want to, I want to set the table for myself to be like, yo, you see me fight Floyd, you whatever the case may be, yeah. whether they get knocked out or not. But it's like, I went out there and, and showed something for yeah. myself, you know. But yeah, especially in front of the Mexican people, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe he's a different. Tra Someone should have gotten in his ear and say, "Go for broke." I don't really understand though. Like, why are we seeing this? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Floyd looked good. Floyd, he looks yeah, great for 47. Floyd, Floyd looks amazing. Floyd looks amazing, but... For his age. I, I just, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't, Floyd, I don't know. Any, Floyd will beat anyone his age or around there. Yeah, Floyd still looks good, and, man. Floyd, yeah. Floyd still looks good. I mean, good. he can I, beat I just, these other... I mean, he'd have to try a little more, but he'll beat Pacquiao. But here, here's my thing, though. Here's my thing. If you're going to do these type of events where you're doing these exhibitions and you're Floyd Mayweather... There needs to be more put in, into it as far as like more, more eyes, more more purpose behind yeah, I it. Think you know what I'm saying? Like I, I feel think it's, it's damaging his brand. It, and it, his it, value. Just, it just there's such a disconnect because I have so much love for Floyd and yeah. I love the way he does his thing. Uh, good good dude inside and out, out of the ring, uh, but um, I just don't understand. Like I want to know. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, I think what, it's what damaging we, his value as a fighter. Yeah, I can I can see no that. No one's really can, cared since the no, Logan no, fight. That, and, and that's the thing. And that's the thing right there. No one is caring. Yeah. And and Floyd is is that guy, and he's always been that guy when Floyd was fighting. Like you said, yeah. the Hirsch family bought it three times. Yeah. People want to see, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, even my son hit me up. Hey, Dad, you get in a fight? You get in a fight? And he, he, he wanted yeah. to watch it as well, too. So people want to see Floyd. Yeah. But nobody knew Floyd was fighting. Nobody knew. So, so. I don't know why Floyd doing that to us, man. I, I guess just a quick bag, you know? I don't know. I don't know. A couple and, million? And, and be that as it may, right? Be that as it may, trying to get a quick bag, whatever the case may be. I'm not against a man trying to get his bread up. But but here's the thing. Make it something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make make it something like, I don't know. I I, I feel like maybe he just, I don't know. I, 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 can't, I can't even draw any... Yeah, I wish he would have just chilled after the Logan fight and then did a fight against like KSI or Jake or something like. Right, get 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 somebody that's gonna be able to uh, bring their part, so he don't gotta do so much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If if he got a KSI, he got one of those influencer types. They're gonna big this up all over social yeah. media. So now we have, you know, I think KSI is the fight because, yeah, I think that's the one. I think because he beat up his brother, embarrassed yeah. him. 
was kind of a dick to him. I think KSI is like really mad about that, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe Floyd can beat up Amir Khan in England or Middle East. I don't know. I, I just wish Floyd will let us know when he got a fight next time, man. I yeah. follow Floyd on IG and everything, man. I didn't even know about the fight, man. Really? <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Um, so that was those thoughts. MMA, Cannoneer versus Ohio. The UFC fighting nerds do it again. These guys are a group of savages. Yeah, they are. Savages. And I don't even know if Bahio is the best one. But the one who knocked out the leech, Paredes, mm-hmm. is yeah, a Paredes. fucking beast. Mm-hmm. You got Silva, who's a beast. You got Bahio. I mean, these guys are, their record is insane. You know what it reminds They're me of? They're on a crazy win streak. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the early Jackson team with me, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, Keith Jardine, George St. Pierre, Nate Marcourt, Joey, v- Joey Villasenor, uh, the Jackson Five, we call ourselves. And yeah. we, we uh, man, we, we had a great team like that, but it was all built on the fact that we were just feeding on each other. We, we had a gym, we were feeding yeah. on each other, yeah. and that energy, you know, we, we just, we were just in our bag, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We were just in, on top of our game. And we had a great, a great coach in Greg Jackson who made sure that he led the way from a mental point of view and as well as, you know, training us to, to, to be where we needed to be. So I see that with this team right here. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, 100%. If I'm like Johnny Walker or something like that, I'm trying to go to that gym. You, you, you need and, – and that's the thing. When you have a gym like that and it has that kind of momentum – you do bring other people in. You do accept other people, but at the same time, uh, being part of a bunch of big teams, you yeah. know, Jacksons, Black Zillions, yeah. one thing that does happen is with the success and with more people coming, then it gets diluted. And yeah. then that's when you start seeing <coughs> the collapse or, or the fall of the team. So what I would say, I, I would say, hey, bring in people, but be very careful yeah. with the people that you bring in there because it doesn't take many to ruin the whole chemistry with the team that they got going on right now. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the fight. Cannoneer's eight showed. Overnight. Yep. And I, 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 I did say it. He's 40. I know. I know. It, 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 it was looking at first, right? He was doing his thing. He was busting Kyle up. Yeah. But a couple things you couldn't get away from. Kyle's jab was absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Um, Kyle's pressure was great. Uh, Kyle just looked fundamentally sound, just so structurally good. Um, and, you know, he, he's a gamer. Yeah. He's a gamer. He can fight in that brawling style, that fast action, I'm going to knock you out. Or he can settle into a strategic fight. Yeah. And, and we've seen a little bit of both of that in this fight uh, with Cannoneer. But it was just, Cannoneer w- w- was in there for a minute until he just wasn't. Yeah. And, and it was all in the fourth yeah. round. Yeah, I mean, he really knocked changed. him out and he woke up. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, I had it tied going into that that yeah. fourth that uh, that fourth round, and then no, I can't have a tie, but it, it was it was pretty close. Yeah, yeah, I, I had it was like three one or something. The live odds were probably like even. Yeah, yeah, it, it was pretty close, but um, when he caught him with that punch, boy, oh boy, it was it was a wrap. And that's one that he in there a couple years ago gets away from. Yeah, you know, a couple years ago he probably beats, he probably wins this fight. Yeah, but I agree. age caught up to him. He's been fighting for a long time. He's forty years old. I I would hang it up. Yeah, I know, but that's easier said than done, man. That's it's tough for him to do. Because here's why it's tough. It's tough because he he was so close again. Like he had he yeah. had, he had that one fight. If he if he could have beaten um, Imovov, yeah, we would be talking about him challenging yeah. again for the belt, right? He would have been next. He would have been yeah. challenging for a belt next. Yeah. But now he just he was concussed in this fight. I know. You know, I know. It's just even more mileage. You just, it's tough to afford that. that it age. is. It is. And at this point where, you know, you, you, you lose to a number 10. Yeah. A hell of a number 10 by that. But, you know. It was too tough of a fight and too soon. Yeah. Um, I, I never liked that fight for him. Didn't really make sense, right? It, they put him in a gatekeeper position. Yeah. The gate was not kept. Yeah. Um, I think Bahia was number five in the rankings now. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they throw him against Izzy. No. I, well, I don't know who Izzy can fight. I don't know. Either. I think that... Uh, you can't yeah. wait out for a title shot, buddy. No. I, that, that's an interesting one. you got to defend that stake. you got to. He's got to fight someone lower ranked. Yeah, he, no, he has to. he just did 14 straight. No. He's like the only... At least he's surging and... 
I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I would assume he thinks it's winnable. Yeah, I, I would think they would give him somebody w- w- that's flirting around with that top position. Yeah, because he's number five. Top, yeah, yeah. trying to be a top dog. Yeah, and that was a good win for Ohio. It really was, man. Yeah, it was. Um, moving on, there's no more fights this week. Nothing. I know. Boxing's on a bit of a dry streak. We yeah. had a lot of Twitter arguing, but not a lot of fighting. Um, wait, wait, I mean, did you see Bilal? Bilal has been going at Muhammad, I mean, uh, Kamaru Usman. Did you see? Your boy. He's been going at him, man. He, he's so been, what is, so, it, it, okay, that seems like ducking smoke. Tell me how. Because I feel like he doesn't want to fight Shavkat and he wants to fight Kamaru because he's coming off of three losses. Okay. I can see that. I yeah. Can, I, can, I can see that. I can see that. Whether Kamaru is an easier out or not, in, in reality, it would appear that way on paper. It will. It, it may. It may. And we're not in the gym with Kamaru. Yeah. We don't know how he's. We don't know how he's, his body's held up. He's had a lot of injuries, right? Yeah. Um. Obviously, one of the greatest of all time. Would do you think he should get the title shot, and skip Shavkat? I mean, I think Shavkat should definitely be. You know, based based on his body of work thus far. Yeah. And and you know I've you know. Um, I think they want to make that fight with Shavkat. I think they want to make that fight with yeah. Shavkat. So we'll see if we'll see if Bilal, Bilal takes it. But I, I I do feel your point, and I feel like that's why he's going so it's hard. Also, probably more money. But but here's the thing. Here's here's the thing. Probably about bigger it. pay per view. Here, here's the thing about it that the, him and uh, Bilal and Kamaru going at it is you, you finally see Bilal kind of step up more in that in that role of you know being someone who's trying to bring in entertainment value as yeah. far as like trying to dr- drum up some controversy, trying to drum up a story for a fight. And, yeah. he, and, he, and he's been watching and he's been paying attention like, oh, this is how you do it. So he knows, hey, I'm going to pick this scab. I'm going to pick this yeah. scab, but I want Camaro. And, and you might say it's duck and smoke, but I think it may be something else. I think I think there may be something that, Bilal may internalize why Kamara was champion, why Kamara was on top, and he said, "You know what? When I get to be champion, that's the dude I want to fight." Because you got to understand, they are they are in the same uh, stable as far as man- manager wise. You know, with yeah. Ali Abdelaziz, so there might be a little something there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gil Burton said he wants to fight Kamara after Sean Brady. I like that rematch. It's a good fight. Um, you got Wonder Boy out there. I mean, there. That, that's that's that 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 to me is uh, that's wild to me, and I'm gonna tell you why that's wild. Why is that to wild? Me. It's wild to me because I really like that first fight. Well, listen, they're in the gym training together. Yeah, they they be in the gym all like they they're in the gym. Yeah, you know they they Kamaru goes to Kill Cliff. They're in the gym, so like I can understand him saying, you know what, I, I hey. If it happens, yeah, I'll fight him again. Yeah, if he wants it. But wanting it is like, so when we in the gym and you seeing me, you want that smoke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's let's not even wait to, let's do it right here, bud. Yeah. Can, so could Kamaru fight Gary or no? Because they're in the same gym too, right? Yeah. Who, who Gary? Gary. Uh, Ian Gary. No, Ian Gary's not there no more. Oh, he left. Yeah, he's uh, he left. He left. He's okay. He's not there no more. So. I would like to see Shavkat versus Bilal and Kamara versus Gary. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Was there like any heat when he left the gym? Um, I don't know the particulars of why he left the gym. I just know that he's not there. Is he spar with Kamara? I don't know that either. All right, you never saw that. I didn't see it. There wasn't like any like nah, juicy story. There's no juicy story. I'm trying to drum it up. All right. Well, I mean, I know he sparred Jason Jackson though. Yeah. An ass kicking machine. Oh, well, okay. But doesn't Jason Jackson kick everyone's ass in training? I'm just Jason Jackson is is a, a terrorist in the gym, bro. Yeah, he, he, he's he's. That's what you say, yeah. He, he's that he's that. Yeah, dude, we got to see him in the UFC. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's what I would do. You can do it on the same card too. Yeah. Um, back to back and just have the winners fight a little tournament, right? I think that would be warranted. I would like that. And I'm sure Kamara likes his chances against Ian Gary. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Um, all right, that was my little thoughts. It was good to bring it up. Also, the wall of our streak is, dude, you die. Shut up. Um, <laughs> we're like a little over halfway through the year. No fights coming up this week, Rashad. So let's just trim this a little bit. We're eight months into the year. What was your favorite fight this year? Holloway versus Gaethje. I mean, that the moment 
what was crystallized at, at the end, right? But before that, you watch Max Holloway bump up weight classes, the fight at 55, and put on a performance of a lifetime, a performance that no one ever thought that he would be able to do bumping up. Yeah. And, uh, and, and they thought that based on how he did against Poirier the first time when Poirier bumped up. So no one thought he would be able to do what he did to Justin Gaethje. But not only did he do what he did to Justin Gaethje for five rounds, he punctuated it at the end with a moment that will live. Greatest in, knockout of all time. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. That, that moment calling him out to the center of the, the, to the cage. And to throw the 50-50. At UFC 300. At UFC 3. It, it, gets, no, it gets no better yeah. than that. And if you were told me before, like, like the two of them squared up in the middle of the ring and someone got knocked out, or was it Gaethje knocked him out? 100%. You know? 100%. Holloway with the one-shot knockout power is crazy. Yeah. That's scary for the other guys. It, it, it really is. It really is. And, I mean, I'm just thinking about, you know, because I, I didn't think that Max had that much tread on, left on his tires. I mean, Max been in a lot of wars. He has, but and, he's young. And, and yeah, he has. We grew up watching. I mean, Max grew up right in front yeah, of our it was eyes. Like my age, yeah. Yeah. So to see him now still be, it seems like he's growing into himself even more. And like that level of knocking out Justin Gaethje, yeah, it kind of unlocked a whole new level of skill that we're yet to see from Max Holloway. Yeah. And you took it as like a, an MMA question. I'm gonna throw out a boxing match. Okay. Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney was the most excited I've been in a fight in so long. That fight had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. Everyone I was with was screaming. That was crazy. Yeah. Because it was Devin was winning all the in between rounds, and you didn't know it was any of the scorecards, and you're kind of waiting like this. That was a crazy fight. Yeah. That's that was right. really a legendary night. See, it was a legendary night watching it, but I mean, to be there, it had to be. Yeah, that would have been, been like, whew. I wish I was there. If yeah. they did it in LA instead of, or Vegas, I would have, New York? It was, yeah. It was, that was silly. Like, they botched everything leading up to it, but the fight itself, oh my God. Oh my goodness. I what know. a fight. I mean, like, just one guy just kept, he hurt him with everything he touched. It was crazy. And the, all the trash talk and the lead up and the fact that he did I, it. The, the lead up is what did it for me. The lead up is what did it to me for me because I, I feel like I, I got a pretty good bullshit meter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like it's not pretty, not bad at all, especially when it comes to fighting, right? But he was literally drinking that week. That's what I'm saying. So that I just thought, I, I thought he was out of his mind. I thought he was. he was gone. I didn't think that he was that calculated. That was genius. That was genius trolling. I don't, I'm not even sure it was all trolling. I think it was real, and he just is better when he's like thinks the aliens are after him. Well, here's the thing. Here's here's what makes me think it was trolling. When when they show the comparisons of the dressing room beforehand. Yeah. And they had the serene, and, and, and Ryan had the serene calmness in his dressing room. Yeah. And Haney had the opposite. Yeah. That shows a little bit more calculation to me. You know, yeah. that, that shows a little bit more centeredness than that chaotic mind that we've seen in the press conference. That shows, yeah. to me, calculation. It was something. It was That something. was crazy. It was that something. That was crazy. I'll, I'll never forget that night. It, it was something. It was something. And, and I, I wish that Ryan didn't continue to get crazy after that and get crazier and crazier because I would have loved to see him parlay that Unbelievable, unbelievable performance into something else. Yeah, if he didn't go all racist on us, he went crazy, man. Yeah. He, he went, he went crazy. I just, I, he, and and that's the part to your point where you said he wasn't, it, it wasn't cap. He was really, he was really disturbed. Yeah, I think, um, I think weed can set certain people off in like a crazy mental episode. I, I think know. it's like a gen I think people have a genetic predisposition to certain things and it just sets off. I think it was more than the, the weed, bro. I think I, I think, think that's it, what it is. I think I think it was a lot of sleepless nights. Yeah. On something that you know makes you you know what I'm saying I I, I don't know, it, it, but it does. I mean, I just I I just didn't foresee him going that far into crazy world. Yeah, and then to show up and do that was like one of the funniest things ever. It yeah. was hilarious, too. It was hilarious. It was hilarious because uh, really no one really seen it coming. No. My pick rhyme, but, like, you, the fact that the first, like, second he touched him, like, was like, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. Um, 
fighter of the year? Who are you showing love to? You know, um, I thought about this. I, 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 Cause I kind of toss it around. You took the boxing route last time. And I was thinking about taking a boxing route this time. I was gonna say Anthony Joshua, just cause I've been so impressed with this yeah. version of Anthony Joshua that we've seen. But I gotta go with Alex Pereira, man. I mean, yeah. to, to me, he's Mr. Johnny on the spot and he don't miss. He don't miss. He goes out there, and this guy's a performer. Yeah. And, and his ability to, to really captivate the audience with this stoicism that he has. Yeah. And, and, and the, 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 the nastiness He's and the, the power. He's the best man of sport. It is very reminiscent of, of a Mike Tyson back in yeah. the day, you know, where he has people beat before he gets into yeah. to, to the cage, you know. And, you know, watching Pereira right now, knowing he's got to fight again, UFC 307 in Utah against Khalil Roundtree, this is going to be his third fight this year. Yeah. And if it goes the way that the other fights are going, he could possibly fight again in December. So, I mean, yeah. he's the fighter of the year he's for that me. He's, he's that, that guy. He's that guy. He is. He is. Um, I'm going to show love. Daniel Dubois. We wrote this guy off. Yeah. And he goes out there, he beats Philip Hergovich the way he did, and then he beats Cheryl Miller. I mean, those two wins, they're fucking great wins. I know, I know. Those are great. Look up the baby, look the very next fight. I mean, and the winner of him versus Anthony Joshua is going to be undoubtedly fight. Well, hold on. If Alexander Usyk beats Tyson Fury again, it's got to be him. It's got to be. But whoever wins that has a very strong case. Because if, if Dubois beat Hergovich, Cheryl Miller, and Anthony Joshua in one calendar year, that'd be crazy. That would be nuts. And for Joshua to go out there and starch and Ganu the way he did, and then go out there and beat—I mean, it's a great year too. It's a, but, I, I, but both of these guys, yeah, the boy and Joshua. I'll talk the boy first. You know, it was almost like we watched him grow into himself yeah. this year, and he's long struggled struggled with his confidence, and you can see that in the way he performed, and sometimes he would even appear to quit. Yeah. in the ring, you know, and for him to answer that call inside and, and really dig deep and find an internal fortitude to be like, yo, you know what? I got this. Yeah. And, and to fight those demons off, to me, hats off, bro. Because uh, it's hard. It's hard, especially when you start to mentally go down that path and mentally not being able to go and, and, and live up to your potential. Yeah. But he's done that. And, yeah, he and to has. me, that, that's super. And, and it's, it, you know what the best part about it is? He got that quitter moniker, right? After yeah. the Joyce fight, his eye is totally shut. He, you know, he takes the, the, the loss, you know. And a lot of people labeled him as a quitter, said he couldn't make an heavyweight division with that type of attitude. And he goes out there, he does that. And, like, those were both, like, like firefights. But he answered the call. Yeah. And, and, that, and that's what it's required from yeah. us in all, everything in life, every aspect of life, no matter who you are, yeah. at some point, someone's going to say you can't. Yeah. And at that point, you got to say, what kind of person am I going to be? What am I going to be? What am I going to do? How am I going to answer that call? And Du Bois did that. Yeah, shout out to Daniel Dubois. Big pimping. Big pimping. But, I mean, you got Anthony Joshua as well. Yeah. Anthony Joshua, I mean, his, his run at heavyweight thus far has well, silenced so many critics. Since you got with Ben Davison. But yeah. unbelievable. It, it seems it seems now that he has more of an idea about how he should fight, where where his skills are best at. Um, I, I was I was, beforehand I really wasn't too sure about um, his fighting IQ at times. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. I knew he was a hard puncher, but I didn't know, you know, I, I doubted his fighting IQ. But in the last few fights, he's really shown that he's grown leaps yeah. and bounds. From and, that time. And Martin Bacoli, if he goes out there and he beats Shelly Jank, he might be in the conversation right. after what he did to Jared Anderson. Yeah. Heavyweight division, I think, is the most exciting it's been in 30 years. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I think if you're not watching all these heavyweight fights, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, and, and then now, you know, with, with uh, Usyk and becoming a heavyweight champion, and the you, know, you, got, rematch you, got, you got some new blood at the top, yeah. though, because... What, what new blood at the top does for a division, yeah. it shakes the bottle up again. It gets guys who are saying, you know what, I may never be able to beat there Tyson Fury. There are so Fury. many guys. And they're all so fighting each other. So many guys. Fury, Usyk, Joshua, Dubois, Gerald Miller, Bacoli, Michael Hunter, 
yeah. Kabayo, Joseph Parker, Jilly Jang, Hergovich, even though he lost. Like, there's there's probably more I didn't even list off. I, I'm like, there's so many. I mean, I think Big Baby's at back in that conversation. I said Jerome Miller. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, I said okay, Jerome okay. Miller. Okay. I think he's like the fifth one I named, buddy. Um, I, I missed. So, <laughs> don't expect the disrespect when I respect. <laughs> I mean, because you've been on my boy, Gerald. You've been on him. You've been on no, him. No, I man. actually, I really like his fighting style. Okay. I love the way he fights. I just, it, at times, he hasn't been in the best shape. No, he hasn't, but he's turned over a And then he stole a league. car from a dealership? He did not steal a car, man. What happened then? I don't know, but it, what, he didn't steal it. It was a misunderstanding of it. Oh, okay. It read yeah. like he like showed up to the dealership and stole it. That no. was the article I read, but I wasn't no, it there. it wasn't. Not All right, I don't want to indemnify him, so I apologize for that. I don't yeah. know the full story, but that was what was reported. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. All right. I'm Mr. Zach. That's Sugar Shot Evans. You just watched the fight, guys.